And then once you've got your Google open, guys, it's just dead easy. Win S C P. Okay, guys, so that's Win S C P. Click it. Uh, in the Google, it'll be the top result. But you want HTTPS WinCP.net. I'll smash the link in the description, so don't worry too much about that one. And then, um, if it doesn't start automatically downloading when you click this, so you click that green button, what I just clicked, and it'll automatically start downloading. If it doesn't do that, you can click Direct Download, and then it'll do it again. Okay, and uh, it's pretty straightforward, guys. It's gonna. I've already got this installed, but it's good. But I think I can still show you what you can see. So if you open that accept the uh, read through the conditions and t the agreements then click next or accept uh, because this you won't get this because I'm going to do a upgrade because I've already got it installed but you don't have to worry about that and then choose your path where you want to install it guys it's 32 megabytes so it's going to cripple your PC because it's just taking up so much space uh, that's a joke it's actually taking up barely any space so you can just put this anywhere it really doesn't matter no pun intended and then all these options, guys. So uh, you can, you know, these are kind of optional. Like if you want, if you want authenticated SSH, you can put that on. Um, you know, I just install them all anyway because they're literally taking up barely any space. Translations, I don't really need that because it's already in English. But you can, you know, whatever. Uh, you know what it means. Uh, I left all these on default as well because I'm just gonna install it to where I've told it to. Now in this view, guys, I would recommend the Commander in, in view because. It shows you, you can see what's on your PC and on what's on your Pi or, or Droid side by side, okay? So the Commander view is my recommended option here, guys. Uh, all my tutorials will have the Commander view. So click Next and then boom, we don't need the Start page. And then we, we have this here, okay? So then the next screen you're going to see is New Site, guys. So you won't see the other two because that's, that's something that I've created in the past. You'll just see New Site. Uh, and the, and this option here, we always want secure tr file transfer protocol because that's how, that's the um, that's the way we'll be connecting to it. Um, and okay, so then the, now you're going to need to find out the IP address of your Pi or or Droid, guys. So I'm going to even show you how to do that. So uh, I'm just going to switch over to my uh, or Droid. This is actually so you'll get so on most images or if you especially if you install the stock image you get something that looks like this you might have a different theme so it might look a bit different but if you just go to retro pioneer and the option that you're looking for is show ip okay now it's going to show probably a lot of shit uh that's probably not relevant but at the top it should always display your ip is blah 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 so that's just my subnet ip that so um, if you don't have an IP there, you either need to connect your Raspberry Pi to your network with an in Ethernet cable or join the Wi-Fi first. So join the Wi. There's a Wi-Fi option on your Pi, uh, and you can just you can basically just join join the Wi-Fi and then uh, do it that way for Raspberry Pis. Uh, I'm on an Android, so I won't have that option. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to this uh, my main screen now. My uh, IP address was one nine two dot. 168.0.219 that's what it said at the top where it says your ip now for this part um you're gonna ha depending on what you're connecting to it depends what it is so um the uh if you have a raspberry pi you're gonna have uh, a different username and password to if you have an Android. okay so raspberry pi Okay, so you you the reason I'm writing this down is because you might spell it wrong or something like that. So username is pi, password is Raspberry. Okay, okay. So now I'm connected to an Android. So if I did that now, I'm going to show you this. This is not going to work because I'm connected to an Android. Uh, it's going to start uh, bitching at me saying the password's wrong. Now if you're on an Android, the pass the username is root. And the password is Audroid, guys. Okay, so uh, it's saying username, pi, password denied. I'm going to cancel that off. Okay, so 219, I think it was. So my username is root, and my password is Audroid. Okay, so if I click login, now it'll come up. It'll probably, it could come up with the, I've, got, I've obviously connected to this one before, but when you connect to it, it sometimes might say error. 
um, and it'll say that it's never logged into this device before. It's not too sure if it's secure. You always click yes to that because it's you know it's secure because it's your own device. So you can click yes to that. And then you should get this view. Okay, so on this side is my Windows. So I'm going to change that to the E drive. Uh, and then on this side is your Android. So if you go back one level, this is the layer of pretty much, it's, it's Linux based, so you, even, shit, whether it's the uh, old Droid or Raspberry Pi, you'll always get this layout. So, and most of the stuff you will need is in home, and then this is going to be Pi or Pi Gaming, like depending on what you, you've got. And then in Retro Pi, uh, you can stick all your ROMs in here. And and I'll cover that in another video, but the but the but a good thing reason for having this is you can visibly see what's being transferred. So in, like I said, instead of using putty or instead of sticking a USB in there and, and uploading that way, you can actually just copy your things from your PC straight into the correct folders, okay? Uh, so uh, I'll just do an example here while it's on a video. So I'll just put Dragon's Lair... Uh, I'm going to upload in background because if you upload a thing comes on your screen, you can't do anything until it's done. So you just do that. And can you see, you can actively see I've actually done that to the wrong location. Cancel. So you can cancel uploads as well. Uh, yes, I definitely did that on purpose for the for the sake of this video, guys. That wasn't a mistake. Uh, hew, hew, hew. Uh, upload. So if you can upload, I'll just upload whatever and show you what happens there. So you upload... And can you see it's putting that into the 3DO folder of Pi Gaming Retro Pi ROM? So when I boot up this old droid, uh, well, actually, I'll show you. When I restart this old droid now, uh, that Dragon's Lair ROM is going to be in the 3DO folder because it's on there now. So boom, it's actually quite, it's a lot quicker to transfer as well. Because uh, if you have a USB to USB and you plug it in, it you know it takes ages to in to put all that onto you into the correct formats, guys. So this into the correct folder, sorry. So this will. You know this will be probably much faster um over the ethernet connection um and just for proof of concept uh i'll show you so you just reboot you can reboot once you've finished doing your copying it doesn't work instantaneously guys so you just do a restart of your device uh and i'll and you know exactly like i said it'll, it'll go through the reboot cycle and then uh when it comes up again when it turns over and you've, you're back online It'll show um, it'll show the uh, the ROMs or whatever that you moved over into your folders. Okay, so I'm I'm using I'm actually using a capture card software. This is um, uh, I forgot what it was called. Elgato, Elgato HD. So this is actually capturing my old droid right now, uh, which is connected on the network. And that's just that's just a bit. I've got a, I had a standard old droid image which I got from uh, the fucking great guys at Old Droid Retro Arena. You know, shouts out to them. Oh, also shouts out to um, shouts out to the uh, WinSCP guys over at WinSCP you know, for providing this amazing software for us to use. It's honestly great shit. Uh, so yeah, um, and then when we're back on here, can you see I've got my game in there, which is Dragon's Lair. So um, that's not scraped. It's not like all my, like when I do my images, I scrape everything. So it's got like videos and all that kind of stuff. Because if you just plunk, if you just plunk the game on there, uh, it ain't gonna be scraped. But I'm gonna cover that in another video as well, so it shows like the descriptions and the, um, you know, in the videos when you hover over it and stuff like that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you found that useful, and I'll probably catch you in another video. No, cheers, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it.